Oh, with the stars of HGTV's uh, Property Brothers, Jonathan and Drew Scott, they're going to show some e easy ways that we can update, and hopefully this translates to you at home. Your bedroom, not spending a lot of cash, exactly. but giving it a fresh, to. updated look. So, and we are in our bedroom in our home and family house. We need to yeah. breathe a little fresh life into this bedroom. Mm -hmm. We do, we do. We actually, uh, before you guys got here, we got a, a shot of what the room looked like Be before you guys got your hands on it and gave us through. So this is what we're looking at. Well, and that's why I find sometimes things get a little boring in the bedroom. Yeah. So Share those old traditional. Add a little spice. You don't want to have a desk in your bedroom. This is a place to relax. So we cleared out some of the furniture, made it a little more comfortable, more inviting. Okay, so we're let's do this. Why don't we, we're going to start with the bedding and, right. and go from that. And you're not necessarily, this is the direction you would go first, but let's do that. Yeah, well, you're saying do. Let's look, at, let's look at what it used to look like, and then we'll reveal what you okay. uh, did to it. Well, All right. The bed before just had no color. It was sort of washed out. You've got this beautiful headboard, and and I love the detail there. But I, I want to see you know pops of color, and with this color of the gray that you're using, you can get away with something that's a little more sheen. You can get some purples in there, some silvers. You can keep it elegant. You don't have mm -hmm. to go wild pops of color, but just adding the little bit uh, of color with is. the throw. And then as well, some pattern with the pillows. I think it ties in nicely. It still makes it feel modern with a touch of elegance. And a little Earl Grey never hurt. Oh my <laughs> right? gosh, yes. Little, no, not I at all. I love that. <laughs> I actually yes. handpicked those flowers out of your silk yard out there. <laughs> yes, our silk, yeah, our silk garden. <laughs> yeah, your I silk know, garden. I know. <laughs> but when you guys des design and do something like this, do you tend to skew more masculine? Because I know when we work together, it tends to go more feminine, and she well, wins, because she, but. Well, well uh, yeah. Go not, not always, I mean, that, it depends. You know, when we work for clients, we want to do what, what they, for Property Brothers, we want to put their flavor into the design, so that's why we really listen to what they say, and then we tailor okay. our design. For buying and selling, it doesn't matter what our sellers want, it matters what buyers want, and so a lot of times we go a little away from something that might be a little too eccentric or, so, or too bold from what sure. the, the sellers See, want. they said they listen to what they say. Yeah. Well, I always try to decorate a room with the, with the man in mind, I mean, you know, to try to there's no flat screen TV. Okay. These are two men that actually listen. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. See. Well, let's listen take, to what you, you have to say lessons. about the window coverings. Right. Window Here's what Beautiful. it looked like before. You guys got a hold of it. There so. were no window coverings. Yeah. There were no. Yeah. Before so. it was just uh, you had an office, like a desk there, but that shouldn't be in the bedroom. You don't want to be working in the bedroom. And then it was just again a little bland. There was a leather rug on the ground. We wanted to soften it up, so we added a little bit more elegance by putting in these nice curtains here. If you want to elongate nice. a window, you can actually take the curtains all the way up to the ceiling, the ceiling. and that would look great too. Right. And also sure. the area rug was really dark. It actually just blended right into the floor. You don't want that. So we right. got a, a new rug here that sort of, it, it's a nice accent, but it's a little bit lighter. So it gives yeah. you some definition for this area, just as a lounging space. And I you took the, the desk out. And you we took did. the desk out. Work does not belong in the bedroom. It shouldn't be work in the bedroom, if you don't know. Oh, yeah. I okay. see. Yeah. I set him up there and you took it and ran <laughs> with it. Oh. Um, now, all right, so we have Go ahead. We have, uh, the, we're updating our cabinets too, because so, yeah. there's a way to do this without. Here behind, yeah. let me pull this out. Well, you so guys have some great look. furniture pieces, so we didn't want to replace all of those, but you had some tired hardware on it, so we wanted Especially to go right with something. Here. Yeah, right behind here. Yeah, we wanted to go with something that's a, a little bit more updated, so we actually chose something that's that's all in, in, in the brush look there, but you could add a little personality here. If you mm -hmm. wanted something really elegant, you could go with the crystal, or you can have something with I was going to say, this was nice. With this style here, you don't want to go too modern. I mean, mm -hmm. this pull here might not work the best, just because it's a little too modern. You can have right. some elegance with this. But that's you don't want to clear cut and get rid of all your furniture if you don't have to. And and a lot of the stuff it. you had here was great. The small touches that have a big impact. It's right. like exactly. it's like the clips on the shoes. Remember, you, yeah. you have new clips and you have new shoes, so they you have, have no new knobs. Yeah, what you're I also okay. redo shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the wall Paint coloring. The wall. Okay, I'm gonna handle yes. these are now these are very close. So hopefully people at home can see the difference in the in the shadings of these because it's subtle. There well, are but thousands of shades of gray that you can go. With, but I thought know, there were only 50. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the wall here, you had a really pale blue, and actually, yeah. you'll notice now it doesn't look as bad, you know, with the the new tones and that were introduced mm -hmm. in the room. But if you were to paint everything out on the room, and I think we actually show we can show the before and after, yeah. lightening up the wall a little bit, it won't be a wash of gray with your headboard, mm -hmm. but it'll really just modernize the space a little, and oh, it's yeah. more neutral too, so it allows yeah. you to put in more furniture. And something to keep in mind: if you have gray pieces like the headboard and the side table, you could always just do a feature wall here. You could. Have have a wallpaper pattern, and that'll break up the gray a little bit as well. And adding the black and white photos, which I think are yours actually, are uh, add a little bit of drama. I love that.